Shoes. Okay. Today we are going to do something different. We are going to do a product review and strain my hair using the Remington straining brush. It looks like this. I haven't strained my hair in a minute, so every time I get to strain my hair, I get really excited because, us, you know, us curly girlies, we don't even know how long our hair is until we strain it. So this is what it looks like before. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hair and do a head wrap because head wraps make your life easier when it comes to curly hair and straining it, and I'll show you how to do that and show you how this thing works. Okay. Let's go. So we're back, hair is washed, and this is what it looks like. I'm going to be using this heat spray. Again, I don't want to do too much. And this is the oil that I was using. Oh. Okay. So now, now we get to the fun part. Okay? So... Brush out your hair, make sure it's nice and untangled. So what you're going to need for this head wrap is some bobby pins and some rollers. Don't make fun of my rollers. I had to improvise. I don't do this often, but I just DIY'd them. <laughs> you're going to do like you're going to part your hair, but it's going to be like way back here, like something like this. Okay, just just trust the process. Okay, there we go. Again, I'm not a professional at this. It's like my second or third time, but my mom has been doing this her whole life, and she's learned by it, and she's done it on me, and it does work. So, okay, so put it in here. All right, let's get going. This is what it looks like. I know I look crazy right now, and actually, I look, I look just like my mom. Oh my gosh, jeans are scary. Anyways, I'm going to let this thing dry and then I'm going to come back and show you how I use the brush. Okay. Okay. Could have been, I could have waited a little tiny bit longer, but it's okay. Okay, this is a little wet, so I'm going to use the hair dryer on it real quick. different settings I'm gonna set it on the second one all right girls it's time for the moment of truth I put it on the second setting okay and then I have this much hair and I'm actually going to divide it because it's always best to start with smaller ish pieces Okay, not bad. I'm not mad at it. So it's 442 right now. Let's see how long it takes me to do my whole head. Boom. In 20 minutes. Look what I did. What? What? I'm shook. I'm shook. Okay. Let's finish up the hair and then I will give my final thoughts. Make sure you do subscribe and like this video so that YouTube algorithm can give me some love. I'm still pretty new to this whole thing, but I'm really excited to share this journey with you guys. Girl, I am feeling myself. Like, who is she? Who is she? Wow. Listen, don't judge me. I only straighten my hair like twice a year. And um, I don't know how to act. I become a whole nother person when my hair is straight. Okay. But in all honesty, I'm pretty happy with it. The thing that makes me mad is I wish I had something like this growing up because I used to struggle so much straightening my curly hair that it was like a whole battle every Sunday, every weekend. So this just makes it way easier. I don't like to use hair strainers because 
it's really difficult when you have curly hairs to you know get rid of your roots and all those little bumps that you get when you strain your hair but um pretty happy with it and um yeah go ahead and give it a try if you want to check it out check out the link in the description so you can get yours all right thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time bye